What's up all my devil dogs? It's your boy Sean Ali, Strength Core Design Five Star General. Back here with a chest and biceps workout routine. Full routine is gonna be in the description box. Y'all know how I do. Please be sure to go ahead and subscribe and support me with that thumbs up. And let's get into the routine. So I started off with uh, some flies. I like to start off with flies to kind of pre-exhaust my chest and I superset it with some push-ups. A lot of people get away from push-ups, you know, as we really you know, get advanced in our training. Uh, a lot of people forget about the basics, but I like to incorporate push-ups, especially after these flies, you feel it a lot more in the chest. You're not gonna feel it a lot in your triceps and it's a great warm-up to do before you hit your heavy presses. All right, then had to jump it off with some incline dumbbell bench. This is like my favorite chest exercise, man. You get to use a lot of weight, good stabilization. I work on those stabilizers since it's dumbbells. When I really feel a good contraction, I'm able to really come up and squeeze at the top since you know, you're not restricted like you are at a barbell. And that's what really makes this one of my favorite exercises. So if you don't do this, I don't know why you don't, definitely incorporate it. Is it zoomed in? Is it focused? No, longer. Look, man, you gotta move up. You can't stay on the same weight forever. I can stay on the hundreds forever and look cool, but fuck that. I'm trying to make gains in this bitch. Damn, I'm getting photo bombed everywhere. <laughs> I mean what I said guys, you gotta move up. You gotta constantly challenge yourself in the gym. If you keep lifting the same weights year in, year out, day in, day out, month in, month out, you're gonna look the same. And I don't wanna look the same. I want people to say, hey man, you're growing, or hey man, you're leaning out. I don't ever wanna just be the same. All right, then after that, I went ahead and did another superset here with the flat bench. You know, everybody's favorite, the basic. I do incorporate it still. It's not my favorite exercise, but you know, you can't go wrong with the barbell bench. It's like a staple. So I did that and I superseted it with some uh, seated dumbbell hammer curls. I really like supersetting chest and biceps because I mean, my biceps aren't really getting stimulated more so my triceps. So it's almost like getting a mini arm routine going, uh, especially when I'm supersetting because I'm getting chest and tries with my bench in and then I get my biceps after my superset. Go ahead. Everybody loves chest day. I'm impartial too. I don't really like benching. I just do it because I fucking have to. Just because you don't like some shit doesn't mean you fucking skip it. Just because you don't like legs doesn't mean you skip legs. Unless you're a bitch. Man. Hey, skip legs. But none of y'all niggas skipping chest day, I'm sure. I'll skip chest before I skip legs. <laughs> Alright guys, and y'all know that's the truth. <laughs> See me getting ready here, doing another superset. But a lot of people go ahead and skip legs, man. Don't skip uh, legs. Just like you work hard on chest, you gotta work hard on legs and everything else. Back, shoulders, everything, man. If you're really about bodybuilding, you wanna make sure you hit each and every single muscle and not neglect something just because you don't like it. Okay. Then here's me being crazy, you know. Uh, Y'all know when the hoodie comes off, that means I'm about to get serious, all right, and look at myself a little more in the mirror. Um, went ahead and did some hammer strength flat uh, press right here. Really, really like this machine. It really mimics dumbbells. Dumbbells aren't my favorite thing to use. I do do them from time to time. Actually commentating this video, I actually did chest again today and use dumbbells, but I like the machine a little better. I don't really have to stabilize. I can really focus on the contraction and the squeeze. Um, and I feel it a lot in the mid pec, man. Then I go ahead and I superseted that with some barbell um, curls. Just some regular curls. I like using the easy bar curl because my wrists really get messed up if I use a straight bar. Um, the straight bar is actually a little bit better, but I'll take the you know less gains or whatever to protect my wrists. Okay, so I did that. I think for three sets. Then the next superset, and this is a whole bunch of supersets. That's what I do during the week. During the week, I got a lot going on, so I pretty much superset everything. Um, and on the weekends, I tend to not superset. I tend to just, you know, do straight sets and stuff like that. But um, 
I went ahead and did some dumbbell incline flies. You see I'm doing it on the incline machine because all the machines were taken. Uh, and then I superset it with some, uh, some more curls. I did a lot of curls this day. Um, not that I mind though. And I think these are just uh, some uh, twisting curls. And what's good about these is it really gets a good stimulation in your biceps because when you twist your hand, if you put your hand straight out and you feel your biceps and you rotate your hand from facing down to facing upwards, you can feel your bicep contract. Try it out. Okay, then right here, another good superset. So I like to do one arm across the body incline press on the hammer strength. Trust me, trust and believe. Nate uh, kind of, you know, got me into this and I started doing it. I really like the feel you get in your, um, your pecs. You can do it on the decline machine. You can do it on the flat machine. I like doing it on the incline because upper chest is just so hard to build. And if you really just make sure you keep your shoulder pinned to that uh, pad and really just push through with the chest, man, I'm telling you, you're going to feel a contraction you never felt before. If you don't do these already, definitely, definitely give them a try on your next chest day. I promise you, you won't regret it. And then here, I just went ahead and supersetted it. After doing each side, I just turned, I think I did uh, like 10 to 12 reps just doing the regular press on the incline hammer strength. Really good superset here, guys. Definitely try it out. All right, last superset of the day. I started, or I finished kind of how I started. I did some decline flies with cables. I think I did anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, went higher reps with this. Really want to make sure you got a good squeeze, you know, bringing your arms across the body. It's the only way to shorten the pec. I think y'all all know that by now. But um, I went ahead and did that and superset it with some incline push-ups. So I started with push-ups and ended with some push-ups to burn out, all right? Let me know what y'all think about the workout. I'm really glad a lot of y'all are subscribing. A lot of you guys are liking the videos. Stay tuned for the end and I'll dismiss y'all. All right, guys, so just finished hitting up chest. It's been actually a chest and biceps. It's been a while since I actually recorded anything on my own, like a workout without somebody else there. So it was kind of different, but it's cool to work out alone every now and then, even though I'm really a big fan of training partners. I just want to thank y'all for supporting me, man. I've really come a long way. It's been almost two years of me doing this. I'm really, really looking to make a mark and really try and jump this shit off for 2016 and make 2016 the year of strength core, all right? 2015's been all right, but I need 2016 to be better, okay? so. Anyways, y'all, y'all know the drill. Don't forget to order, subscribe, and share. Like and comment. So next time on my double dogs, dismiss. Triple beam dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme. Triple beam dreams and drug schemes of mad cream could be a sad scene when you go to that extreme.